What's up, spiritual gang gang? Love. Namaste. And we is in here. We're going to get to the reading and we're just going to see what's going on. I already closed the video. So, yeah, we just going to see what you need to know. I was pulling cards and it was it was some stuff going on. So, like, let me start recording. Okay, I was pulling Taylor. Okay. But we just gonna see, cause somebody here was questioning their intuition, and yeah, look, gotta handle some things. Let's see though, what's going on here? Let's see. Yeah, look, questioning intuition just keep trying to come back up. Attached problem with evil eye, wicked. Okay. So is somebody here making you question your intuition or like, yeah, let me see. Spirit, can you clarify? Evil eye, detach evil eye, plotting with evil eye. Okay. Question the intuition. I'm telling you, they're trying to make you like question yourself, question your intuition. Obsession, yeah. This person must indulge, like, and came up, yeah, fulfilling a fantasy. Let's see, this is somebody you blocked, they were making you like question your own intuition, right? But they were like obsessed with you, it's like, want to love you, but can't love you, right? But don't want to let you go, type of energy. But you block them, you move on. You moved on from this person, yeah, because you realized they were just playing you. There's a lot of them lies, manipulation, control. This person could have been controlling. Dece deception could have been involved. It could have been manipulation involved, yeah. Opened your heart and... You opened your heart to this person. And it was like you were scared or like... Panicking to 22 on the clock. You open your heart to this person and it was like you were scared or this person was scared and panicking. But it's more so giving me you were panicking. And you look at this person like, oh, yeah, you were just a fantasy. Like, you're not what I thought you were type of thing. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, spirit, can you, can you confirm, clarify this anxiety scare? Look, spirit not playing. Yeah, look, trigger. Somebody was triggering you. They could have been talking shit about you. This could have, and you were ignoring them. I cannot make this up. And this was like triggering you. You were like ignoring this. Past happened. I'm telling you, you were like past tense. Yeah. This is what made you get up and leave this person. Like, you were like, you talking about me. You trying to manipulate me. You lying. You trying to control me. And you talking about me. Like, baby, we just can't, we can't really do nothing. And like, you like transmuted the pain into. Something positive. Yeah, they chaser. I'm telling you, you could have been, this could have been like a chaser one or like a twin flame dynamic where you were chasing them or they were chasing you. Or they could have came in in hot pursuit, like talking their talk. But really, in reality, they kept you a secret. Or they could have kept you a secret at, at a period of time. Or they could have had somebody and kept them a secret. Yeah, because with bad choices, they realized that dirty offer, or you realized this was a bad investment, that they only had a dirty offer. Like, what they were offering was not genuine in your eyes. Or that's what it's giving me. So you blocked this person off, you ignored them. It was like you're talking about me with people. You mad, you trying to do, you trying to man fuck me, like, you just. You you regret it opening your heart to whomever this person is. I feel like this was a bad choice. This was a dirty offer. 
in here. You're going to come up on some type of money or this could be somebody that's in your energy, some type of agreement, settlement, some type of compromise. Somebody's trying to keep a promise. Yeah, something about questioning intuition. Listen to signs. It's like somebody here is questioning their intuition and they don't think it's real. And they can be in like a regretful energy because they were trying to fulfill this fantasy. And this caused this person to walk off and block them. You get what I'm saying? So they were like questioning themselves because spirit is telling them to listen to the signs. It's like, I don't know, it's like, um, this person questioning if it's real, if it could be, because they know how they move with this person. Let's see. Police. Oh, child. It's like this person could have made them question their intuition and this person could have warned them about something. Yeah. Look, retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. Yeah. This person is angry. They're mad about something. It's like this person made you question your intuition about something and you told them something pertaining to the police. And you were listening to the signs, but they weren't. And that's what got them in this retaliation. They want to punish. Yeah, got to handle some things. I'm telling you, something with the police. Happiness. They look at you like they're, you're their happiness. Let's see, though. Spirit, what's this police card? Let me switch my deck. What's this police card? Yeah, look. It's a hate on you, spirituality. Like magic. They could have hated on your spirit, your, your intuition, and it made you question yourself. Like they could have hated on you, and it made you question your abilities and the things you were saying. Children, you know, it's a, cat, it's a kid involved. You can have a child. They can have a child. <coughs> Somebody here is a boss. I'm trying to protect my energy, y'all. Yeah, I don't understand. People be trying to energetically attack me, but I don't let it happen. But, like, I've been having, like, ascension symptoms, and I've been growing. So, I got to be coughing, and now I'm not even sick. But, yeah, somebody here runs their own business. They're a boss. They're, they're pretty stable, pretty business. Yeah, somebody gave, like, some type of fake apology. You could have got a room, a motel suite, an Airbnb. The attached problem with evil eye. Well, they could be planning this. Like, well, let's go get a room. And what they're trying to come in is give a dirty offer. They're trying to give a fake apology. And they really don't like you for your spiritual gifts, your spiritual abilities. And they could have made you question yourself at a period of time. What's this question of intuition spirit? Can you clarify that? Can you clarify question of intuition? Let's see y'all uh, like hmm, let's see y'all. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, somebody's unbothered. And this is like the last, last phase of uh, the twin flame journey. You walking away from this person could have brought this person to oneness and actually activated their heart chakra. Unbothered, yeah. You're unbothered by this. It's like they were trying to do something to hurt you and it backfired type of thing. It's like, because look, divorce, final contract, you walked away from this situation. Y'all could have been married or in a relationship and you... You broke this contract. Yeah, player. This person identifier. They feel as if they was player. And they could have been testing to see if you healed. And you genuinely healed. Whoever this boss is, they walked away from this shit. Saying, no, like, fuck this shit. I deserve better. And you're unbothered by it. Yeah, somebody here is always partying. Groupy energy. At their breaking point. Somebody here wanted to be a player. And now they're at their breaking point. And somebody here could be trying to pin a baby on them. Or somebody could be pregnant by them. That they were intimate with. And they could be unsure. They could be having a pregnancy scare. It could be positive or negative. 
but this person is at their breaking point. Yeah, extreme harsh cut off. I'm telling you, somebody, a groupie, somebody they could have had a one night stand with, could have been trying to pin some type of baby on them, and they cut them off. Family blood ties. Family could have been trying to pin a baby on them, or could have like hooked them up with a person. For that person to try to like backtrack them, pin a baby on them, or get tied in through money streams. Yeah, they're sad, broken. They something. They just. It was like a realization. Something came to light. They got them feeling sad or broken, or they could have. A family member could have did something that was. I don't. Wants to be you, acts like you. So somebody here could have been acting like. Divine masculine or could have been acting like divine feminine, like a copycat who wants to be you impersonate. I'm trying to bully them. They could have saw something about them talking about divine feminine, divine masculine. There could have been family members involved. They could have saw something where they were plotting, scheming, falling apart. Yeah, they feel like grudge holder. Somebody here is a grudge holder, I'm telling you. Big ass kid in adult age. Yeah, or like, it could have been family involved. Somebody here could think they're pregnant. And something left somebody sad, broken, and feeling alone. So this person could have picked family over this boss, which forced this person to walk away. But they seen something that made them realize these people don't want to see them happy. they really happiness haters. I seen something. Can you, can you clarify a happiness had her spirit? Can you clarify? Something with a vacation. Or some type of getaway. Watching you on social media. They could have seen these people watching you on social media and talking about you. But there's something significant about a vacation or a getaway. Or well, this person's going to try to go on vacation with you or divine masculine or divine feminine, whomever. Whomever, take what resonates and leave what does not. Does not try to make it everything fit because you could have a particular message. 1231, 1232, 1233, and 1235. Yeah, somebody here is trying to start drama. Thirsty, just trying to cause chaos. Real crowd hungry. And this person moved on. Or this could be you. You could feel, you could feel like this person get, feed off of anger. Feed off of chaos. Feed off of confusion. You feel like this person to do anything and say anything for attention. So he was like, thank you, next. Like, I'm cool. Or this person could have held somebody else in high honor. And really, this person liked to cause chaos. And they're watching them from a fake account. Yeah, knowing they fucked up. They know they fucked up with you. Somebody in their feelings. Somebody's in their feelings about this. Because now it's like, it's to the point where... I ain't got no choice but to reflect back. Yeah, so that's the pause and time and factor in your connection. Could be a third party involved. They could have put a third party over you and like in high honor over you. Yeah, because look, red lipstick stain. Somebody got caught cheating. Mm -hmm. TikTok deadline. Somebody feel like they time running out. Let me put this down. Nightlife gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Somebody here could shoot dice, um, sell weed. It's something that makes quick money, but they feel like they are running out of time. Like they feel like they got like some type of deadline to meet because whomever they put in high regard over you that made you walk away from this person to the point where they were putting you in competition, this person got caught cheating on them or got caught doing something. They saw something. Yeah, look, what I tell you, and giving them no choice but to reminisce back and think about all the memories and everything. I feel like this person is broke as fuck. Or this could be you. Or this person could have made it, sold them dreams. Like, let's say they sold you dreams, this person could have sold them dreams. Yeah, total drama action. Somebody is putting on a show. Cyber bully. Look, you're being bullied online. Or they have, or or they are somebody is suffering or have suffered from this. 
unquenchable, one or more. Somebody want more of you. Yeah, something in court, paperwork was filed. They could have found out some new information in court. And it made them sad, it broke them. Or it got them to their breaking point. 15, 13 on the clock. I don't know. Yeah, somebody here was holding some type of grudge. Copycat, projected future months, days. This could be going on or could have played out or could be going on or could be to come. Access granted, social media. Somebody watching on fake account. Wholeness over joy smiling. Yeah, wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody realized somebody ain't really who they say it is. And they could have intervened in y'all connection. Yeah, deny it. Look, not facing the truth, irrational thinking, irrational reasoning. Yeah, real life. I'm telling you, it's like, damn. And they feel like now that this person gone, everything around them falling apart. And this person could have warned them. You could have warned this person. Or it could be the other way around. Copycat. I'm telling you, this person want to be exactly like you or like divine masculine. Yeah, but they into you. Good vibes. This is a divine connection. They got this magnetic ass pull to you. They can't resist. Twin flames. I'm telling you, the one mirror souls pledge shall pledge last lifetime. This is won't play out this lifetime. This is going to happen. Spirit said this is gonna happen. So, whether you like it or not, this person like whether you moved on or not, they sorry. Yeah, they, you feel like this played out, or they feel like you feel like this is played out. Yeah, they tired of drama, or they feel like this is all played out and they tired of drama. Yeah, chakra activation. I told y'all I have my extension symptoms, or it could be chakra activations. <coughs> you guys could be going through the exact same thing. It's just fifty-six on the ground. Somebody gonna be chasing you. It's like they're contemplating if they should do this. Yeah, they were holding some type of grudge, or they feel like you're holding some type of grudge, or they're holding some type of grudge. Whatever information they found out, this pissed them off. Which made them ghost block and cut off people. And it's going to be a lot of people. Yeah, closing, trapped, frustrated. I'm telling you, it pissed them off. Whatever they found out. We're going to find out, though. We're going to see 17.27 on the clock. We're going to see. Oh, my God. Setting the record straight. Somebody setting the record straight. Somebody. Okay, what they found out. They could have. Okay, they could have put somebody else in high regard, right? And went away and lay down with this person and caught something. It could be a sexual infection, a sexual disease, a rash, etc. Caught a case. Or it could be court. Next lifetime, I'm telling you, soulmate. This person could have thought they called in a soulmate or could have went after a soulmate. And really, it wasn't well cracked up to be yet. Door closed. You could have closed this door. This could, this person could have cheated on you with somebody gave you something which made you close the door and that's how you found out. Well, nope. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person put you in competition. You closed this door and whomever they put you in competition with gave them something. Damn. And now they're watching you through fake accounts. Yeah, look, be attached. Somebody plotting with the EY. Damn, or this person could be plotting with the evil eye. So somebody could be plotting to send somebody to get somebody something. Yeah, because of falling in love. Somebody in a falling in love stage of their twin flame journey. Somebody there and then somebody else is in the oneness. It's like one twin flame is more woke than the other, and this one is like playing catch up. You're trying to survive, daily hustle. Yeah, you dodged some bullets, you, whomever this is. You dodged some bullets, you blocked off negative people. Or that's this person blocking, blocking out, look, dodging bullets, blocking out negative people. That's this person. Ignoring crazy people, they protected you, protected from haters. And these people could have hated on you and spirit didn't let them see it until you were gone from the situation completely. Confirmation? Yeah, look, spirit is like, they like, damn, I should have used sexual protection. Or they use sexual protection or they're protecting themselves sexually and they're 
abstinent copycat. I'm telling you, it's somebody to act like you out of turmoil in a Persian separation anxiety. Somebody is going through it because you guys are not together. Silence, cricket. The silence is breaking them. It's bringing them to their breaking point. We're on a chaser dynamic. Didn't I call that? Hidden cameras in your home. You're being watched. Be mindful of that. Not facing the truth or rational thinking. Yeah, somebody is not seeing that this person is a copycat. Falling apart. I'm telling you, they feel like everything around them falling apart. You was really their happiness. You know that song? You are my sunshine of my life. Somebody's shocked. It's like they could have found that they're not the father of a child. That somebody tried to pin on them. And this could have kept them like one foot in, one foot out because they had to figure this out. And it left them shocked. Prayer received. Spirit said, whatever you've been praying for, it's received. Let's see something. <coughs> it left them shocked. Like, mouth open, no teeth showing. Let's see. Spirit Q, um, clarify the sexual protection. You call the case. You clarify sexual protection and call the case. 2132, 2133. 33 um, could be significant. 222, 333. 10, 10. The lovers fell out sideways. I'm telling you, it was like somebody was at crossroads and they had a decision to make. And they, Wherever they they could have put you in competition, and you were really their lover, and you were really their past life lover, and whomever they put you in competition with was actually a copycat. It was not their lover, and they held this other person in high regards. It's like karmic lover. I don't know. Let's see though. Spirit, you confirm this lover's ties. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Isolation. Dang, Eight of Swords. Yikes. Somebody here could have been doing dark magic. Eight of Swords. Eight of, eight of Swords with the Magician, the Chariot, and Strength card. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords. Yikes. Somebody here could have been. And this is all just for finances. For money. So it's like they could have had an option where it's like this person is loving, caring. This is actually their lover. <coughs> Compromising. Very mature lover. Um, could be a boss. Very business oriented. They had this person in isolation. Sadness, depression, grief, disease. That that card could stand for disease as well. And they could have been manifesting you. You guys could have both been manifesting this. And that's, that could have been that prayer receive card. Where this came back into fruition. Your chariots finally had came in. Or somebody here was somebody here was blocking change. Or you had to walk away and do something different, which made this person step into their power. Because this person, whoever this is, they were, they were in like revenge, retaliation energy, punished energy. This was a battle between the dark and light spirit. Said, "Walk away, let me handle it." Because whoever this is, this was like malice, revenge, lying, deceit. This could be murder, um, rape, crime. That's plotting, scheming, like that card. And this is all over finances. So somebody here called judgment. You could have called judgment on the situation, yeah, because somebody here was projecting illusions. A lot of lies, deceit, a lot of illusions. Projecting it and really not over acts. Mm -hmm. They realized that all the options they had, yeah, they were options, but they were illusions. But it's like they put these illusions over you type of thing, but they really was never over you. They were always grieving you. So when you walk away from this and call judgment, it really showed them all them illusions played out and it showed them where their heart really lied. So let me 
me see something real quick. Yeah, competition rivalry. Hey, man, I'm telling you. It's like they were starting arguments. They don't want to argue no more. They could have been starting arguments with you. It's like you wake up out the blue and it's an argument. And it's like, damn, like, what the fuck? Well, this person could have woke up, pissed as fuck, and they started an argument. Because <coughs> they realized other people that was in competition with their person and really didn't want to see them with this person and how this person was not an illusion. And they really love this person. Mm-hmm. But now they're trying to new introspection, new perspectives. They're trying to change things about themselves. Or this could be you. Check out how it resonates. It's only 5.50 on the clock. <coughs> I'm telling you, you and your harmony, blessings. They want to come back into union with you. Because they realize all the people that was doing the dark magic behind the scenes. And this is what you could have told them about. It's like these people was not really breaking with you. They're against you. And they finally, look, somebody's trying to block my throat chakra. <coughs> yeah, they had to stop and examine their life. And they finally see it now. It's like, oh, you was against me this whole time. Something they see, yeah. Something you called, it, you ended this. Intuition, high priestess is somebody that's intuition, things to be revealed, things that's coming to the light. Things that were hidden, it's coming out. Somebody here could have a pet cat. That'd be significant. Somebody here is very intuitive. But it, you ended this, and really you were they wish fulfillment. Damn. And it's like all this, yup. Look, somebody that's really spiritual, loving. I'm telling you. Good with astrology. This person is very fertile, too. You could be pregnant. You could be fertile to have a baby, like really fertile right now. You could be seeing twos, because look, two, two right there. And then TNT now. Yeah, you felt like this was, they feel like this is somebody that you were with during adulthood, childhood. Because look, TNT now. They had to really stop and examine their life and really go back and do some thinking. Because it was like, Okay, I keep manifesting this person in, but I keep doing everything fucking wrong. And they didn't invest in you, which caused a tower moment. Or they could have breadcrumbed you and thought they were investing. And it caused a tower moment. Or cause this could have made you fall off with business, this this situation. Yeah, now they want to invest, though. I'm telling you, whomever they picked, it's like... You could be in your bag, you could be about your finances, but it's a lot of women down on this this floor. So this person could really have been juggling women, could really genuinely be a player, but they love one woman that's down on this floor. And it's like, whomever made this decision, they feel like all this brought them was heartache and pain and heartbreak. It's a feeling. Yeah. Spirit of agreement. Naive happiness, have to let it go. It's like, you walking away, show this person to walk away, yeah, because they were controlling. It's like they could have been very materialistic. They could have blocked change, a real control and energy. And they and you were like, you know what? I'm finna just work on my finances. All this is bringing me is heartache and pain. It's like you're not right. You could be the right person wrong timing, but you're not right. I'm telling you, look, they had an epiphany. It's like I'm always happy around this person. We always celebrate person is old-fashioned old school love and this emperor had an epiphany and this emperor usually emperor could have a child um somebody learned all their lessons not really somebody is stepping into their power or came into power already they usually came into their power and they they not easily driven but i'm telling you they was in this devil energy this could be obsessive energy this could be operating out of lower self, I'm telling you. And whatever energy this emperor is in this devil energy, which was causing you nothing but heartache and pain, heartbreak. It's a spirit of agreement. This could be your twin flame. This could be a soulmate. Soulmate and twin flame came out. This could be your soulmate and twin flame. 2940 on the clock. But they were in this devil energy, which left you no choice but to walk away. Confirmation. It's like, I got to let you go at this point. Spirit, what happened when they let this person go? 
Yeah, they had you in rivalry competition or whomever, who all, whoever they all around, everything went crashing. All them towers went crashing. They realized you were their happiness, wish fulfillment. You were where they really want to be. I'm telling you, they had whoever they were had you in competition with, this shit went crashing too. Yeah, Toy Frame. Can I make this up? Somebody that could really be pregnant, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Busting from heaven. I'm telling you, union harmony. It's like they're trying to manifest y'all coming back. They got some type of mental clarity. You see all them people in the background talking shit, watching, background watching. Yeah, they really like all them people in the background casted illusions. Really didn't want to see them happy. And you the one with the power. You the real divine feminine. Damn. Mm -hmm. And you're real intuitive. You could have told them something. Now you just managing your time or this is them. And they're trying to get everything back in balance. Get back grounded. But it's something that you predicted. Something that's coming out. Or an illusion that has been cleared up. Which was an epiphany that you had. And they like... I didn't protect you. They didn't invest. They could have really breadcrumbed you. It's like a lot of regret surrounding this person. Let's see something. Let's see something. It's my personal deck. Let's see something. You do you. 31.53 on the clock. It's like you're probably doing you right now. I'm telling you. And it's, and and this is like. They could feel like you got them in competition now. Or you're dealing with somebody else. Or they could have purposely caused this tower. By putting you in competition. When really you was their blessing from heaven. You were their happiness. And they got some type of mental clarity over something. So they think of some type of fast movement. Some type of fast action. But they know they projected illusions. And they could have really genuinely had you questioning your own intuition. You're very intuitive here. Very in tune. Tapped in. Fuck you need your people around. Fuck. You need your people around. You look fuck shit's about to get real. I'm telling you. Something could be popping off. Could be about to pop off. Shit could be so much worse. You got just a way. You got a way in perfect time. And drink a smoothie, unfriend the asshole, and throw some shit out. Squeeze. Okay, spirit. What would you tell this person that's in regret? Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Move the fuck on. This person is like, you could have moved on. Or spirit is telling you to move the fuck on. Eat some shit by mother nature. Yeah, this person, spirit could be like, change your damn diet too. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay, so what would you tell this person? Yeah, look, they could be holding on to some type of grudge and, and the clarity hit. And it's like, <gasps> you bitch. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Don't forget it. You're the shit. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Somebody here letting themselves go. Spirit on the ass. Whoever this person is, spirit on the ass. Okay. But it's like. Somebody here could have let them talk themselves out of a position and they could have put this person to the point where they were at their breaking point, which now was finally playing back out. And they're being called to be vulnerable. They're being called to fight. They're the ones that has to do the work this time. <laughs> let me see. Something. This could be you, though. Take it how it resonates. Only you know where you lie. Only you know where you fit. Only you would know. Somebody, uh, somebody's in real regretful energy. 
like real regretful energy. Thirty-four fifty-eight. It's like the what they invested in traded on them, and what they didn't invest it in was actually more solid to them type of thing. And what they didn't invest in and what they panned out to be crazy was actually right. Stability and equilibrium. It could have been about money. They could have did business with these people. Intelligence. This made them smarter. Or this made you smarter. And you were like, I'm going to just get my stability right. Focus on my mind. My mind, body, spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like... So, like, I'm I'm focused on other shit. Yeah, this, this guy you holding is walking away from this. Or you walking away from this show them how to love themselves. It, like, spark this activation in them. And it's, like, making them whole and healing them at the same time and teaching them how to walk away from things that's no longer serving them and how to get rid of this toxic cycle. Genius, I'm telling you, you guys are very protected. Red, green, white, blue, pink, purple could be very significant. Third eye chakra, intuition, wisdom. It's like knowledge. Yeah, somebody here feel like they're in darkness. Probably in hermit mode, too. It's like they're real sad. I'm telling you, it's like no teeth, no mouth, just shocked. Like, damn, my loyalty was with y'all and really y'all. Y'all ass ain't loyal if they feel like they're surrounded by darkness. Just trying to just swallow them, eat their ass up. Yeah, look, change. This forced them to change. It forced them to go into a death and rebirth, or this could be you. It forced you had to look and sit back and reminisce and think. And it forced you to change things about yourself. Yeah, renew. It's like, okay, I know I can't come back to this person until I change my ways and actually renew myself and, and get out of this darkness energy. It's like, I see you guys on my downfall. I see you guys bring me down this road of destruction. I know I can't deal with y'all if I want to go here. If, I'm, if I see myself going here, I know I can't keep dealing with y'all. Fruitfulness, because this is what makes me happy. This is what makes me fruitful. This is what's actually the resourceful thing to do, and this is what's going to help me grow. Union, power, trust, truth, and fairness, and understanding. I'm telling you, it's like they if they didn't understand you or they could have just turned cold on you and tried not to understand you, tried not to communicate, it was because these people that was around them, they were surrounded by nothing but darkness, nothing but snakes. When you went back and cut the head off them snakes, 37.53 on the clock. This is... What brought you into you? This is what brought you into your power. Your union, your power. You could have went back and got your heart. This is what actually gave you power. Control over life, your own life. Control over self. So this actually helped you grow, if anything. Thirty-eight twenty-one on the clock. All right, let's see something. Um, spirit. What angels are surrounding this connection right now? Can you let me know? What angels are surrounding this connection right now, spirit? Blue is very significant. I got a lot of light blue, dark blue. The gentle God. Perception of unity protects against accidents, heals the sick. Somebody here could have a cold. But somebody here, yeah, you're protected from these projections and these illusions. And, like, it's a different perception. It's like coming into unity with a different perspective over everything, a different introspection, a whole new outlook over a situation that you could have been holding a grudge about. And once you had your mind made up, you were so close-minded, it wasn't even what you thought it was to be. So it's like these people played a big part in your perception when you got too involved in the hype. And it's like, damn it, I let people intervene in my connection again. Whatever they seen, justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. I'm telling you, whatever they seen, it was enough clarity for them. And it's something that you clarified. It's something that you told them, and it was truthful. And it made them do nothing but like, fuck. You know that song, um, Locked Out of Heaven? 
Feels like I just walked right out of heaven. It's walked right out of heaven. 40 o'clock on the dot. Feel like I done damn with all my life away. Don't know what to do. Get back right with you. I'm telling you. <coughs> Healing capacity, protection for weapons, safety, and travel. Yeah, because somebody could have been threatening them. Justice is out of here. Desire for knowledge protects against protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. It's like they got clarity overnight. It's like they could have woke up to this or they could have walked in on a conversation or they could have saw some messages. But something gave them this clarity. It was like all these people was involved in my demise and I let them play me on my position. And these people wanted everything in their life to fall apart. So they like them operating out of this broken energy. Transformation gives consolation in adversity. Somebody, some divine intervention was here. Perseverance, success and conflicts, overcoming adversity. Yeah, some divine intervention was here. It's going to help them overcome this adversity. Or this was you. You overcame this adversity that was around you. And you, it's like you're so in tune. You can peep out all the negative energy around you and the people that got ill intent. And really be evil eyeing you and throwing subliminals and side shots. And it's like this person had that feeling, but they were ignoring their intuition. It's like they didn't want to let go of these people, so spirit gave them no choice but to. It's like you have no choice but to see the fucking truth now. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. I'm telling you, you guys could be married spiritually. You guys could be married, but this breakup is protected. It's like you guys are, you guys are strong together. You guys are supposed to be together. Divine revelation reveals message has the power to destroy. I'm telling you what they seen. Y'all think I'm playing is something they seen. It's like <coughs> could have got violent. <coughs> <coughs> something they seen. A tone of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. It could have been it could have been exposed to them in such a humiliating way. Like, it could have been out of anger. It could have been, like, getting into an argument. It's like, and that's why I played you out of your emperor's life. And that's why I manipulated the situation. Da, da, da. It's, it's, it came out in a very spiteful way. Like, yeah, bitch, I'm up one on you. 42, 40 on the clock. I don't know. Love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. I'm telling you, this person was... Wanted everything around this person to fall apart. They didn't want any, anything that they tried to grow to prevail in any type of way, shape, or form. It's like this person made you question your intuition for your intuition to turn out on top and right. And it's like embarrassing because it's like, damn, you was right. And it's like pride and ego keep them from coming because it's like you were right. But then it's like, damn, I want to be there. It's like breaking my heart. Change my deck, y'all. Forty-two, twenty-three on the clock. Let me see something else. Yeah, y'all guardian angel. Y'all got guardian angels all the way around this connection. I'm telling you, like, spirit been watching this whole thing. Whole little shit ain't go down. Like, divine masculine, you think you in shock? Shit, spirit up there, like, y'all really gonna do this? Guardian angel, I'm telling you, it's like y'all really gonna do this marriage. Somebody here could be married, um, or be going into marriage, or this person could have talked to somebody like I want to marry them, and they could have told them something that was not true, and it made them have a whole different outlook on you. Or you guys, this person might like, damn, I want to marry this person like your wifey material. Like they could be planning something to get you in a marriage, a connection. Like planning an event or something. Let's see though. It's like, damn, I want to marry this person. Yeah, y'all guardian angels all over this connection. It's like 44, 33 on the clock. Avoid the energy. It's like they were trying to run from their feelings. Run from the hospital. Run from getting checked. Run. It's like avoiding everything. Run from altercation. It's like avoiding everything. Avoiding wrongdoing. Intuition. Running from their own intuition. Watch the company you would keep. 
remove negative energy around you. I'm telling you. Soul searching. Somebody here is soul searching. Swim flame mission. Yeah, this verse is going to change your life. Take a leap of faith. You were born to be a legend. Okay, so it was like they were running. They were running from the truth. You're divinely protected. They were running from the truth. It's like, okay, you could have told them these people that they keep was leading them down the road to destruction. And they were trying to run from that truth. It's like a rational thinking. It's like running and avoiding everything. And it's like, I'm just living in a moment, soaring like a bird type of energy. And spirit is like, you're avoiding everything in life. Avoiding your own intuition. And that was that question of intuition. I watch you grow up. They're proud of you. And they're telling you, listen to your intuition. Yeah, somebody here is in emotional distress. It's like if they caused you emotional distress, it could have came back on them. Where it's 45, 44, 45, 44 on the clock, okay? You got to understand that the intention that you put out is the intention that you're going to get back. Throat, throat chakra. That's for light blue. I told you something was significant about light blue. And I've been coughing. <coughs> Can we talk for a minute? Or come and talk to me about Jodeci? Somebody... I'm trying to find a word to say. Somebody's trying to come for us, like lost for words, like like really shocked, like don't know what to say. Like I'm, you get what I'm saying? So communication, expression, and truth, that's what it's open by. But it's blocked by lies, guilt, and being silenced. The affirmation for that is I speak the truth that I know. Say it with me. I speak the truth that I know. Sex addiction. They could have had a sex addiction, that, but they came up in reverse. Yeah, they realized that somebody was doing period sex rituals. Yeah, they overthinking. They you're overthinking this and they said, Man, I'm coming home, baby. So when you avoid the energy of mediumship, stop beating yourself up, it's not your fault. Somebody here is avoiding their feelings. And whoever they they could be in love with a medium, like you could have the ability or they could have the ability to connect with your ancestors. Loved ones, um, People that, you know, crossed over to just the energetic field. You know, just the soul field. Not no vessel, no body. Y'all gifts heightened. I'm telling you, soulmate connection. This is your soulmate. It's okay. Some of y'all beating yourself up because of this. Really, this person is just in, in avoiding energy. Well, they're just avoiding everything. Avoiding bills. Avoiding everything. Responsibilities. Just avoiding everything. Yeah, these people could have had him in some type of money scandal. You could have warned this person about all this. Do not say some friends, friends probably behind your back. It's like they want to do business with you, but really the intention behind the business is not pure. Some money scandal, money scandal, 47, 44 in the clock. Angel of strength, this gave them strength or this gave you strength. I only love you. They only love you. Collective lucid dreams. You guys could be, have this ability or be t called to tune into this. You've met your real slim flame. Yeah. They feel like you're very abundant. I said something about the third eye chakra in dark blue. It's that's the intuition, wisdom, and awareness is bugged by illusions, deception, and blindness. The affirmation for that is I seek awareness with open eyes. Say it with me. I seek awareness with open eyes. It's like somebody, abundance stopped when you stopped being around. They could have invested some money into something that was actually a scandal, and they thought it was something genuine, and you told them not to make this investment, and they still did it. And they missed out on a lot of money. Do more protection spells, gifts heightened. Karmic masculine, I'm telling you, this could be somebody you're dealing with, soulmate connection. Or you could be dealing with a karmic masculine you think is your soulmate, and this is what's going on, love for eternities. And you're supposed to be with your twin flame. You were born to be a legend. Yeah. Healing sexual intercourse. Emotional distress. I'm telling you, I'm, my head, I'm in my head about you. I'm watching you grow up. I'm so proud of you. Somebody is really thinking about you, visualizing sex with you, they're visualizing you there, visualizing your face. They could be penny pitching or it could be you. Lesson learned. They learned their lesson. They ain't around nothing but arguments. They could have started an argument. Count your blessings for yourself. Be grateful. Show gratitude. <coughs> Look, my throat chakra been trying to... How could I, I'm still going to express myself, period. Connect with nature. So y'all will be grounded, be called to being grounded and connect with nature. Pay attention to the red flags. You could be dealing with a karmic masculine. You're trying to convince yourself that he's not karmic and everything in your reality shows you that he is. Yeah, karmic masculine trying to block new love or this person, this old lover can be trying to block you for actually moving on from them. 
So they try to keep you stagnant and stuck. Like manipulate energy. Karmic involved. I'm telling you, somebody here could be dealing with a karmic masculine. Or this could be a karmic masculine dealing with a karmic and one. It's like one my cake and eat it too. It's like I want you and I want this. Yeah, they're getting advice. Or they could be getting advice from a karmic. Because karmics come in like family, friends, co-workers. They don't just got to be a lover. Yeah, spirit hid you in plain sight. Mm -hmm. Angel, what happened? You say, realize you make them happy. It's no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's making them angry. I'm telling you, it's, it's like an anger energy. It's like <coughs> whoever this person is, they're angry. Yeah, and they're really operating out of their lower self right now. They're angry. Whatever they see, whatever they found out, and, and it could be pertaining to this money scandal, it made them pissed. It's like you told them. It's like collective fucking told me. Why didn't I fucking listen? Keep your eye on the prize I'm guiding you. Yeah, everything is playing out in divine time, and so allow it to. Keep your eye on your goals, your visions, and don't compare yourself or compete with other people because you're right on time for your journey if you want to on the clock. Stop procrastinating. If you've been procrastinating, spirit sense, stop procrastinating. Yeah, something with kids. It could be like, okay, I need this much money for kids. It's like making a person go broke and it's not their child. It's like, I need this much for kids and it's not their child. And they're, they up it and it keeps them stagnant, keep them stuck, and keep them in a financial bond. Three, three, three. Your partner for marriage and children is close by, and this is one of the best angel numbers for love. Deep and lasting love that will turn into a commitment. Strongest angel number for love and marriage. This will be a special union. Resonates with planet Jupiter. Meditate and manifest. And Jupiter is Sagittarius. It's ruled by Sagittarius. You could attract a Libra, which symbolizes marriage. I told you I was getting like marriage energy. This could be a new lover that you're dealing with. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Yeah. Divine timing. Something is significant about letting this play out of the virus. I'm at 50, 2, 11. You could be seeing 2, 11, 5, 11, 6, 11, 3, 11, 4, 11. Yeah, because this person had control issues, and this is a lesson they had to learn. It's like you want to control everything, and then it's like you, you look, and it's like, oh, I thought I was controlling everything, but really, we were being controlled. Really, I was being controlled. Really, I was a puppet in their game for me to pawn you off. 888. 52, 40 on the clock. Success and financial good luck. You're on the right path to abundance. Communication is coming between you and your person. New opportunities in a new way on its way. Possibly a Scorpio. Yeah, out the storm. The storm has cleared. I'm telling you. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. They're manifesting you. It's like they feel like it's too late. Yikes. Okay. Yikes, y'all. That was a lot collective. Um, let me pull some other cards. Let me get y'all some affirmations. <coughs> this person manifested marriage, but she was like, I want to marry this person. This is my keeper. This is my lover. But you did the right thing walking away. You broke a generation of curse. You could come from a a bloodline of women that stay with men that's emotionally, mentally, physically abusive and never really walk away. And it's like they get used like they're disposable. And this person can come back and play in the energy. And you're the one that actually put a stop to this curse. It's like, look, you're not finna keep playing with me. Go play with your mom, your cat, your dog, your kid, but not me. Play with your hair, pubes, something. Just not me. I'm not the one or the two. Okay, I can forgive people quickly, release my resentment, and set myself free. Say it with me. I can forgive people quickly, release my resentment, and set myself free. Okay, there's no such thing as a mistake. Everything happens in divine order. I am being guided to learn and grow. Say it with me. There's no such thing as a mistake. Everything happens in divine order. I am being guided to learn and grow. I celebrate all the greatness in my life. Say it with me. I celebrate all the greatness in my life. Spirit, can you give me two more? I'm going to get y'all some journal work and music. So two more, period. 
the more I honor my inner light, the more I shine, the more I brighten the world I choose to shine. The more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world I choose to shine. Say it with me. 55, 05, 1 o'clock, 555. Okay, the more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world I choose to shine. And lastly, I am committed to bringing forth my greatness. I will, I will no longer play small. I am committed to bringing forth my greatness. I will no longer play small. Say that. Say that, collective. 525, 1 o'clock. I trust that my intuition is always leading me in the right direction. Say it with me. I trust that my intuition is always leading me in the right direction. Somebody here needs to stop questioning intuition and just act without. Just do it. Just act without judgment. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, I'll get some hidden truths music. And I got some new songs up in here. Both sides and turn work. Okay, let's get y'all some journal work. It's going to be a little long, 5.57 on the clock. Spirit, you get them some, can you do three cards for journal work? Notes, journal work. Self-love messages, self-expression messages for collective today. I love watching y'all journeys. It'd be exciting doing readings tomorrow. I'm going to do a um, channel of medium reading. Okay. Am I avoiding, am I apologizing for my truth? How am I avoiding accountability? Who am I shifting the blame on? Okay, continue to make the most of every door. And this is all spirit wants you to know. Know that whatever decision you made was the right one. And then you are currently under construction. Be patient. Okay. Let me get y'all some hidden truth music and then we is out. Okay, collective. I'm going to cleanse y'all out. Okay, what are some hidden truths this person would like to tell collective? I left you before you could leave me. This person could have left you. Like that's why I said they could have emotionally detached from you. And it could have brought you a lot of emotional distress. Like you could have been in separation anxiety. Or... But this person could have been in separation and anxiety when you actually pulled further away. So many things remind me of you. Okay. What they could like, I'm telling you, storm down. I'm starting to understand our connection. Now that you're getting it, I'm telling you, you pulled away. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Somebody here could have left you. They could have broke up with you and blamed you about the whole breakup and really it was their fault, but they blamed you to like shift the blame and like strip away their accountability. <coughs> I look for you everywhere. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, somebody was acting like it, like living the buddy means, faking the funk. I wish I could take my words back. They could have been real disrespectful too. You were the best thing in my life. Mm-hmm. And I regret lying to you. They could have lied to you about something. Let's get you some music. And now they're regretting everything because it then backfired. He can't love you, Jackie Edge. And it's driving them nuts because they feel like you're with another person, another man. It's driving them nuts. It's like new love came around. You could be dating. Ray SWV. Spirit, can I get a couple more songs for Collective 5855 on the clock? Stand Up by Cynthia and Revo. Hey, Spirit, can you give me like two more songs? I can get to Collective. Come and talk to me, Joe, to see. I told you I picked that up intuitively. Sex Therapy by Robin Thicke. Okay, I always put the ones that fall out in the description. If you um, like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. Misunderstood by Betty. Bad, bad, bar, bad Betty. But let's see. When I was your man by Bruno Mars. I'm telling you. Somebody here is regretful of how they treated you. How they did you. Because the information they found out. Information that they were getting. It was misleading them. And it made them look at you so horrible. And they treated you horrible. Treated you like a doormat. And then the information that they found out. Fanto Freestyle Mona Leah. That's a 
somebody was really in player energy. Like, they was trying to get their leg back. Little danger. But grind too hard. Oh, shit. I'm telling you. Okay, spirit. Best thing. Look, best thing I ever met Beyonce. Somebody was in some dog energy. This song. They was in some dog. I'm going to get my leg back. Energy. And you just could have walked off. Like, you know what? I'm cool. You do this by yourself. Do it by yourself. I'm not going to play these games with you. The fuck I look like? Playing with your damn self. Or this person that they put in high regards over you. This is how this girl really get down. She played all in your person. Yeah, look, what kind of man would I be? By mint condition. Marry you by Bruno Mars. Put it down by Brandy and Chris Brown. I'm telling you. Betrayed by Boosie, Web, Boosie Badass and Webby. It was a betrayal. Father God, I've been betrayed. They did baby like a slave. But I learned from my mistakes. We living in the last days. Pray for me and make me cold hearted. I've been betrayed. They said, after all the fucking shit we didn't be through. 101, 10, 101, 11. All the pussy niggas we didn't tend to. But it don't mean nothing with a nigga money low. Nigga, I'll shoot you in your back and cut your fucking throat like Richard your man's heart. Now it's hard for me to trust a body. Family media, they'll steal if they know you got it. God forgive me, I done hurt by a couple of niggas. That's why I wake up, sing my prayers, and be like, fuck a nigga. Bitches want bitches, so they try to slide the rub off. Trying to get pregnant when you stupid hoes gonna learn your lesson. You hear me? Man, it seem like the more love you show a nigga when you fall off, you be like, damn, did I know this nigga? I'm telling you, he said, I'm glad I'm rap because these days they testify, police. Nigga ain't catch them with nothing and he got 25. Just because he say he gonna ride don't mean he love you, dog. Something to pray for us, Father God. I'm telling you, that song, it was a, it was a major portrayal. It was like, you? Spirit guides, divine guides, guardian angels, my ancient ancestors, ancient Egyptian ancestors, my Indian ancestors, I ask that you protect us from any negative entities or beings casting out any hatred, evil eye, dark magic, confusion, binds, hexes, curses, spells, evil eye, love spells, anything. I ask that you transmit to love, light, and healing energy and banish it back to the light and protect me and my collective with a white veil, right? White veil, red light over us. Keep the light and shine the armor protection around us very heavy. And any beings with ill intents, destiny swaps, binds, curses, confusion spells, um, chaos spells, confrontational spells, confirmation. Look, I ask that you transmit those to love, light, and heal energy and release it back to the light, banish it back to the light for divine to handle. I ask that any binds or anything, any cloaking spells as well, destiny swap rituals, I ask that you transmit those to love, light, and heal energy and release them. And keep us protected and cleansed. And protect us through our chakra activations and kundalini activations and wherever we're at on our timelines. Um, I love you, Kitty Collective. I'm going to put my uncle's song in the beginning again. All right, spiritual gang, gang, love. Namaste, and I am out. So long. Namaste, Kitty Collective.